Hello, my internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. Tonight, we are going to be looking at one from a builder I've been wanting to check out for quite some time, and the opportunity has finally presented itself. We will be looking at the Butterfly Tremolo from Red Noise Effects. tremolo from red noise is a tremolo and then some uh the way he does the tremolo effect is with a low pass filter so you have all of these awesome filter controls to really shape your sound and shape that wave and then also you have a ton of different waveform options on here it is a cool pedal i'm going to use it here on multiple guitar tracks synth and bass. Take a deeper dive into the butterfly from Red Noise. Start with the controls, and there are a few of them. Um, up top, first thing you see is a toggle, and that is a soft and hard toggle. And that is, uh, it, there are two different modes, of uh, the Q and depth. So soft is going to be more shallow and more subtle, and the hard is going to be more pronounced and more choppy. Next to that, we have a range control, and that is the range of the filter. Then we have a mids control, and that is a mids uh, boost and cut. So if you start at noon, uh, you can boost and you can cut your mids. Then we have a B slash T control. Uh, again, if you're moving towards the bass side, what it's going to do is it is going to... Uh, it's going to boost some lower frequencies as well as cutting higher ones. And if you go to the treble side, it will uh, boost upper frequencies while cutting lower ones. And then we have a volume control. This is the overall output volume of the pedal, and there is a ton of it, and it can play really well with your amp and make some really cool uh, distortion that I really enjoy. So we'll look at that a little bit. Let's move down to the next row. And there we have, the first thing we see is the waveform selector. There are a lot of them. And um, they're all very cool. I like them all a lot. So that's awesome. Next to that, we have the speed slash frequency control. So depending on what mode you're in, it has two different modes. There is an LFO mode, and there is a manual mode. 
And when you are in the LFO mode, so the lights start flashing there, this controls the speed of the LFO. But when you are in manual mode, this controls the cutoff frequency um, of the filter. Cool. Then right here, we have a dry and wet control and you blend it in the middle. Just blend between your dry and wet. Um, we talked about the LFO and manual. Um, I should also note that there is a tap tempo for your LFO uh, mode. I'm running a Fender American Original Tele Custom into a Benson Amps Monarch Reverb, and that sounds like this. <laughs> So I think in interest of time, because this pedal will eat up a lot of time, I am going to just pick out a few different settings on there that I found that I really enjoy, and we'll go through those. But before we do that, I do want to talk about the manual mode, and I want to talk about that output volume. So let's go into the manual mode. Here we have the volume only uh, only it's sitting at about noon and it's already plenty loud. So with this, uh, the frequency knob here. setting is one that I used in the uh, the intro track, and um, it's cool. It's kind of a psychedelic, adds lots of really cool texture to um, rhythm tracks, I thought. So I used it on guitar, and I think I even used it a little bit on synth. Um, we're going to use a hard cue on it. We're going to be in the hard mode. We are going to have a definitely a full range on that. Um, we'll boost the mids a little bit. We are going to hang out in the, the upper frequencies of it to really kind of drive home that psychedelic sound. Um, we're going to use, uh, a, a, you know, kind of like a V, um, waveform and we're going to go fast with it and, um, we'll, we'll keep that, we'll keep that, uh, that mix kind of a little over noon. So here we go. <laughs> is kind of a Leslie-ish kind of sound. Um, the way we're doing it is we're going to go with the soft on the cue. 
Um, pulling back the range a little bit. We are pulling back the mids a little bit. We're adding some more low end back in. And um, we're going with a more rounded waveform. And we've pulled the speed back a little bit. And we've actually upped the wet signal. <laughs> So this next one is really going to make it obvious that it is a low pass filter. Um, we're back in the hard and we um, have reduced the um, range a little bit and we have dropped the mids all the way. And we're um, again kind of leaning towards bright um, all the way on the dry and wet. We have uh, chosen this little kind of U-turn <laughs> waveform here and uh, we have slowed down the elfo quite a bit. We're going to utilize uh, some more of the kind of interesting uh, wave forms that they have there. Some of the more choppy and random looking ones. Um, still in the hard and uh, pull the range back a little bit, uh, pull the mids back a little bit and hang it towards the treble. I've actually pulled, uh, I'm pulled in a little bit more dry signal. This is, um, I don't know, it's just kind of trippy, kind of cool. show you is one that I used a lot on the opening track and um, I've just basically juiced uh, the heck out of the the volume on it to really push my amp um, we're gonna juice some mids um, we're doing with this uh, this kind of waveform there whatever that is and um, I brought the range back quite a bit but this is just a very cool kind of like faux wah um, almost kind of univibe kind of song. <laughs> 
So yeah, but that's just a really, really, really brief look at the butterfly. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on here, and you can use this thing as a tremolo, you can use it as a filter, you can use it as an EQ if you run it in manual mode. I mean, like, it is just a rich and cool pedal. It looks absolutely awesome. It just looks like drugs. <laughs> So um, I've really enjoyed it a lot, and uh, thank you for your time.